what would you say was your toughest thing to overcome within this, you know, pursuing this? Because obviously a lot of people quit. A lot of people chase things, and if it don't work out the way they want, then they quit. You know, you see these trends of jumping into it. It ain't working out. I'm leaving. So what was the hardships that you went through, and how did you overcome that to stay within this? Man, it is literally, like, it has to be more than a passion. It got to be something you love. Like... As far as hardships, man, bad business between my manager, uh, who was family, and tried to blackball me. Mm. Yeah, and then I had to create a whole new network. So with some cats, you know, it's just the little peaks and valleys, but you know, I was on a traje trajectory going up, and then that happened. So literally, I had to start from scratch. My music was dope. But ain't nobody know me because I couldn't use that network that I used from my manager. And so it was just literally recreating all this big network. And it's just like you have to go back to humble mode because I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm dope. Ronnie Jerkins know my name. Like he he's I've been in the studio with him. And he's like, yo, your stuff is fire. Like plenty of people heard me and be like, yeah, you fire. But it was just like once that blockade went up, it was just like. All right, how am I gonna do this? Like, either I quit or I just push through it. So it was that. Um, so recreating your network or my my network, being innovative, because everything is still just copy and paste. And I think it's getting way better now as far as production. But then it was, man, trying to eat, trying to eat, like trying to make money off of the game, because. It's a way. It's so many more ways to monetize your stuff now. Like back, and it's, it's. I feel old when I say it, but back then it was just like, just try and get placement, mm -hmm. just try and get placements. But now, you don't gotta be that producer that's just going with Chris Brown to make it. Like you got sync, you got TV shows, you got commercials, you got Facebook, Instagram, all different types of ways for you to generate income. And then push your push your brand. So, uh, going back to the question, the other thing is, yeah, like I said, finances. Like trying to be able to, you know, live a regular life in LA. Like if I was back in Detroit, it whatever. But living in LA is so expensive. And then trying to push that, literally work a nine to five, leave that, go work in the studio. And then you got to, I mean, that's just something you got to do till you get on, like on, on. So it's just time, time freaking management. Like a mug. Uh, going back to it, when you got blackball or your manager tried to blackball you, did you want your brother to step in being that he was already established? He helped me out a lot, actually. Once I, uh, it, it, like I said, it was back and forth. Like it was times where, so he, he his, one of his closest friends in, uh, people that he manages, Jukebox, who wrote Whip My Hair by Willow Smith, wrote and produced it. So I I pretty much learned a lot of stuff from him. So, because I was, when I was in Detroit, part of the reason why I moved out here is because I was just felt like I was at a ceiling in Detroit because I didn't know n much of the business because it's not that much of a business uh, side in Detroit. It's a bunch of talented people bunch of talented people but just as far as business goes it's just nothing at the time so I was just like okay I need to go out where the opportunity is so once I did come out there and then I went to school at LA recording school to which was trash but that's another story uh, <laughs> when I was working under uh, jukebox and, and other producers, it helped me to grow and understand different type of elements on how to make a beat. And that was, that was very, very helpful when it came to me growing as a producer. So he played a, a big part. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.